Hi guys, uh, Franz here from Snakes of Namibia. Um, what we have over here today is what we call a spotted bush snake. Philothamnus semivirigatus is the latter name. Now this is one of the other green snake species that we tend to find here within central Namibia, more specifically the Vintuk area. Now a lot of people tend to mistake these guys for boomsla or they tend to mistake them for black mambas and in some cases even for zebra snakes but there are some considerable differences between those three snakes and this one. And now what you'll notice firstly with a spotted bush snake is that it has um, these crossbars or spots on the first half of its body. Usually it is light gray, sometimes it is a green coloration as, in, as well. And in some cases you'll also notice that it can be white. So it almost mimics a zebra snake. And then when you go to the last third of the body, you'll notice that the snake has this incredible brownish or copper brown coloration. Now, if you look at the head shape of a, of a spotted bush snake, you'll notice that um, you'll notice that the head is spear shaped and I don't know whether you would be able to see it on this video but the iris of the eye is a golden yellow color. Another key characteristic of identifying this particular snake is the fact that it has this very pretty blue tongue. Now one thing about spotted bush snakes is that they have an incredible attitude on them and often when these snakes are, are handled or caught Usually what they'll do is they'll inflate their, their throats a bit and they'll strike out repeatedly. And you can also see that this snake is incredibly alert and it knows very well what's going on in its surroundings. Now, where would you usually find them? Typically in small little shrubs and bushes like this in the back. Uh, usually around gardens that you'll tend to find them hunting on the walls and stuff. And the diet of spotted bush snakes mainly consists out of lizards and it also consists out of frogs as well. Now they're not really known to feed on rodents, um, but lizards um, is definitely a favorite of the snake. Now they tend to get quite big, up to about 1.3 meters in length. Usually they average between, um, between a, a meter, or between 80 centimeters and a meter, I beg your pardon. And one thing about the snake as well is that it moves incredibly quick. It is a arboreal species, which basically means it lives up in trees and shrubs, and it is diurnal, so it's mainly active during the day. Now, if you differentiate between this snake and a boomslang, you'll notice that boomslang usually tend to have much larger eyes, and they're a single color. Either it's going, it's going to be brown, or it's going to be green. And if you're looking at the black mamba, for example, they typically tend to be a light gray coloration or a dark gunmetal gray color. And if you look at zebra snakes, western barred spitting cobras, they have, about, they have crossbars across the entire body, unlike this little guy over here, which only the first half is usually is covered with crossbars. Um, and it's green and with zebra snakes, it's either black and white or black and yellow. So this guy is rearing to go and you'll see how quickly or how well he's going to climb. So look at the strength. Fantastic. There you go. And off he goes.